Beneath the southernmost tip of South America there lies a passageway that has puzzled mariners for centuries. A passage that, despite its geographical position as the shortest route between the Atlantic and Pacific Oceans, is rarely traversed by ships. Now, you may ask, why is that? Throughout history, brave and audacious sailors have attempted to navigate this route, lured by the promise of a shortcut between oceans. But alas, they were met with treacherous seas, unforgiving weather, and a myriad of other dangers that made the journey perilous, if not impossible. One such passage is the infamous Drake Passage. Named after the legendary explorer Sir Francis Drake, this stretch of water, located between Cape Horn at the southern tip of South America and the South Shetland Islands of Antarctica, is known for its unpredictable weather and tumultuous seas. It's a place where the Atlantic, Pacific, and Southern Seas converge, creating a cocktail of currents that can whip up waves reaching up to 50 feet high. The Drake Passage is, indeed, a place of maritime lore and legend, a waterway that has tested the mettle of the most seasoned sailors and claimed many ships in its icy grasp. Its waters are unpredictable, its winds unforgiving, and its currents relentless. It is a place where the sea reveals its most terrifying face and where the dreams of a quicker route are often dashed against its stormy waves. But it's not just the turbulent waters of the Drake Passage that deter ships from venturing beneath South America. There are other factors at play here, factors that we'll delve into as we navigate the depths of this maritime mystery. Factors like geographical challenges, logistical complications, and modern alternatives that have made this route less appealing to mariners. Indeed, the mysteries of the sea run deep, and nowhere is this more apparent than in the waters beneath South America. As we journey into the following scenes, we'll unravel more about why ships choose to steer clear of this seemingly convenient passage. So join us as we set sail into the unknown and explore the real reason ships don't pass under South America. To truly grasp why ships avoid this route, we must first understand the geographical challenges it presents. Imagine the southernmost tip of South America, where the Atlantic and Pacific Oceans collide. This region is notorious for its stormy seas, where waves can tower as high as a six-story building. It's like an aquatic roller coaster that no one signed up for, with the ride lasting for days, if not weeks. These conditions alone make the passage a no-go zone for many vessels. But, the stormy seas are just the tip of the iceberg, quite literally. The colder waters of the South Atlantic and the Southern Ocean are known to harbor floating ice, including gigantic icebergs. Now, picture navigating through a storm with these floating mountains of ice around you. It's like playing a game of Russian roulette with Mother Nature, where a wrong move can lead to a disaster. And then there's the weather. The region is infamous for its unpredictable weather patterns. One moment the sun is shining with the sky as clear as a summer's day. The next a storm is brewing on the horizon ready to unleash its fury. This unpredictability poses a significant risk to the ships and their crews, as accurate weather prediction is a key factor in ensuring a safe journey across the seas. The challenging topography of the region is another factor. The underwater landscape is a maze of deep trenches, steep cliffs, and submerged mountains. This uneven seafloor can cause rapid changes in sea conditions, making navigation even more treacherous. These geographical features combine to create a perfect storm of challenges. The stormy seas, the floating ice, the unpredictable weather and the challenging topography all make this route a high-risk venture. It's not just about the potential damage to the ships, but also the threat to the lives of the crew members on board. So when we look at it from this perspective, it's not hard to understand why mariners would choose to avoid this perilous journey. After all, the sea is a harsh mistress, and those who fail to respect her might find themselves at her mercy. As we can see, Mother Nature herself seems to conspire against those who would dare to navigate these treacherous waters. Scene script. Geography, however, is just one piece of the puzzle. The logistical complications of such a route are equally daunting. Now let's dive into the nitty-gritty of these logistical challenges. Imagine, if you will, the sheer magnitude of planning needed to traverse the rough terrain of South America. First off, you'd need specialized ships designed to withstand the harsh conditions of the South Atlantic and Pacific Oceans. These aren't your average freighters. 
We're talking about vessels equipped with state-of-the-art navigation systems, reinforced hulls, and advanced propulsion mechanisms. Building them is not only time-consuming, but also a significant financial investment. And it doesn't stop there. The equipment on board needs to be top-notch too. From advanced radar systems to weather forecasting tools, every gear and gadget plays a crucial role in ensuring the vessel's safety and efficiency. But again, this high-tech equipment doesn't come cheap. Then there's the question of travel time. Crossing under South America isn't a quick jaunt, it's a marathon, a long drawn-out journey that significantly increases travel time. This isn't ideal for businesses that rely on fast shipping times to keep their operations running smoothly. But wait, there's more. Mother Nature isn't always cooperative. Weather conditions around South America can be unpredictable and at times downright brutal. Storms can whip up without warning leading to dangerous waves and strong winds. These can cause delays and as we all know, time is money in the shipping industry. The financial implications of these challenges cannot be overstated. The additional costs incurred for specialized ships and equipment, the lost time due to the extended travel, and the potential for delays all add up. It's a hefty price to pay, one that most shipping companies aren't willing to shoulder. In the end, the logistical hurdles often prove too high a wall to surmount, further discouraging ships from taking this route. Despite these challenges, the lure of a shorter route has not been entirely dismissed. Modern alternatives have emerged. Enter the Panama Canal, a man-made marvel that has managed to overcome the geographical challenges of South America. Stretching over 50 miles, this waterway offers a direct passage between the Atlantic and Pacific Oceans. It's like a highway for ships, bypassing the dangerous journey around Cape Horn and shaving off thousands of miles from a vessel's voyage. But it's not just about the distance. The Panama Canal also offers a controlled environment, which has increased safety for maritime transport. Clever engineering and the use of locks help elevate ships over mountains, effectively turning a seemingly impossible route into a navigable waterway. Now picture this. Giant vessels, stacked high with colorful steel boxes, gliding smoothly through the water. These are container ships, another modern alternative that has revolutionized maritime transport. Containerization has made shipping more efficient, reliable, and flexible, allowing goods to be transported in large volumes over vast distances. You see, cargo used to be loaded and unloaded piece by piece, a process that was both time-consuming and risky. But with container ships, cargo is packed into large standardized containers that can be easily stacked, transported, and tracked. This method not only speeds up the shipping process, but also reduces the risk of damage or loss to the cargo. And there's more. Container ships are designed to withstand harsh weather conditions, making them safer for long ocean voyages. Their sturdy design and the use of advanced navigation systems have further reduced the reliance on the treacherous route beneath South America. So, while the idea of a shorter route beneath South America may continue to tantalize, it's the modern alternatives that are leading the way in maritime transport. They've turned the impossible into the possible, making shipping more efficient, safer, and more reliable. Today, thanks to these modern marvels of engineering, ships no longer need to brave the treacherous waters beneath South America. So, why don't ships pass under South America? It's certainly not for lack of courage or curiosity. Over the course of this journey, we've charted the mysteries of this little traveled route, delving deep into the geographical, logistical, and financial challenges that deter seafarers from venturing under the wild southern tip of South America. We've navigated the tumultuous waters of the region's geography, where the unpredictable weather, treacherous currents, and hidden reefs present a formidable challenge to even the most experienced mariners. This is not an adventure for the faint-hearted. It's a route that demands respect, caution, and a deep reverence for the raw power of nature. In our voyage through the logistical complications, we've come to realize that these aren't just obstacles, they're towering barriers. The lack of infrastructure, the absence of suitable ports for docking, and the prolonged travel times all add up to a logistical nightmare. It's like trying to navigate a maze blindfolded. The financial implications, too, are significant. The costs of fuel, potential damage to the vessel, and the extra time required for this route can skyrocket, making it an economically unviable option. To put it simply, it's a gamble that most are unwilling to take. Yet in the face of these challenges, the modern world has offered alternatives. The Panama Canal, for instance, offers a safer, more efficient route through the Americas. 
bypassing the need to navigate the perilous waters under South America. It's a testament to human ingenuity, a triumph of engineering over the obstacles of nature. In the end, the sea's mysteries remain, but one thing is clear. The risks of navigating under South America far outweigh the potential rewards. It's a path less traveled, not due to a lack of daring, but because the sea, in all its untamed glory, demands respect. And respect, in this case, means acknowledging the risks and choosing the safer course. Subscribe for more videos like this. Turn on notification and leave a like to help the channel out. Thank you for watching.